Hi everyone, so I think we'll just get started. Um, today um, we're going to go over uh, the Altair Inspire product range and give you a bit of an insight into how the simulation driven design tools um, can help you out with your existing processes. So today it's going to be myself and Danny. So um, hi everybody. <laughs> Hello. So, um, yeah, go on. Dan, do you want to introduce yourself first? And yeah, then... yeah, I was going to jump in there. Apologies, jumping the gun. No, you're <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so, um, hi everyone. So, for those that haven't met me yet, um, I'm Danny Avales. I am one of the manufacturing account managers for Simply in Newcastle. Um, I've been with the business now just a short of a year, um, and I've got a focus on the Altair portfolio for simulation. I've been working quite closely with those guys. Um, but, yeah, that's a bit of me. Okay, and thank you very much, guys. Um, I'm Cheryl Sneddon. I'm part of the advanced manufacturing team, but obviously getting involved with the simulation side with Danny um, and Wazine. So hopefully today we can enlighten you and um, some of the new Altair tools that um, we've been introduced to over the last few months. So... The agenda for today is going to be a brief introduction to Altair, which um, hopefully Danny will be able to work through with you. Um, we're going to look at what Inspire is, and we're going to look at some of the main features of Inspire, why you would consider uh, an introduction to Inspire or even some elements of the Inspire products, um, and then also how the Altair range works together. And if, if you, we've got any existing Sim Solid customers on then you might have um, an understanding of how the SimSolid product works, and then we'll show you how it integrates with the Inspire products. And then again, how you gain access to the Inspire uh, product line. And also Altair have got a very good setup when it comes to free trials and things like that. So we'll introduce you to that um, at the end of the presentation. Brilliant, thanks for that, Cheryl. Um, so yeah, um... For the purpose of everyone watching um, and aren't aware of obviously what's available in Altair, um, I think it would be best obviously to share a screen and obviously um, go through the Altair One Marketplace. You can obviously find that online. Um, you don't actually need an account to see the solutions available. Um, you just need to know the web address and you can go on there. Um, yeah, would you be able to get that up, Cheryl? Yeah, no worries. Um, just to skip out of that. No problem. So this is. That's the one, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so just to give some insight, um, all the solutions that you can see here uh, are within suites. So uh, you can see on the top um, left-hand side, uh, each suite's based on disciplines. So obviously you've got here the uh, concept engineer, industrial designer, and mechanical designer. Um, and essentially, start from the top going down, each suite below has uh, sophisticated solutions within it. So one of the key differences with having uh, access to Vault uh, to Altair is um, you can have uh, more advanced um, solutions within the mechanical engineer suite, for example. Um, you get access to everything which is in the previous suite, which would be the concept engineer. Um, hence why you'll see that there's actually 106 solutions there within the MA suite. And obviously that includes the 33 solutions from the CE suite. Um, the same applies with the... Um, Multi-Physics and Mechatronics Week as well, so there's 150 in there, um, which also includes everything from the Mechanical Engineering Concept Engineer Suite. Uh, you can actually also search certain products, um, like Inspire, in the top left corner, um, and that'll just show everything that's related to what you just searched. So um, as you can see, obviously, there's some Inspire products there. Uh, brilliant, thanks for that show. Um, and obviously, you've got stuff that's for mold, casting, and various types of manufacturing processes and um, anything else that's related. You can also search for things like um, FEA and CFD as well, just whatever's um, relevant to what you're looking for. Um, and another key difference um, to note as well, that there's actually a, a unit based license model, uh, which is for flexibility. So we'll show some information on the next slide um, within this webinar. Brilliant, thank you very much. All right, so... Um, with the unit space licensing model, it means that users within uh, a business can purchase a pool of shareable units. Uh, these units are permanent and aren't consumed from one-time usage. So basically it means that the units last until the subscription has ended. 
uh, which is typically between one and three years. Um, any user within a business can draw those units from the pool, uh, which can access multiple products, uh, which can be done on any device, such as a laptop. Um, but once the user is logged out of the solution, the units return to the pool and become available to use again for those uh, users involved in the business. And each solution within a suite requires um, a different amount of units. So the more sophisticated the software, uh, the more units it tends to require. You can actually acquire additional units if you wish, um, if you want to access more solutions um, or have more users using it on a concurrent basis, if that makes sense to you. Um, but I can provide more information after the webinar if anyone wants to know about it. Um, but yeah, we're going to obviously talk to you about how Inspire actually works. Um, so over to you, Cheryl. Thanks very much, Danny. No problem. So um, the next thing I'm going to go over, guys, is just the Inspire product line in general. And um, on the website for Inspire, it, it states that Inspire is an, an acceleration um, to create and optimise your designs. And it's also part of the, um, the suite that allows you to study um, structurally and also collaborate within an assembly environment. So what does that actually mean? It means that it's an it's an integrated an integrated workflow um, that allows you to work with your model as well as create modifications of that model and analyze the structure within a collaboration environment. So the Inspire product, um, when you open it up and install it, has a lot of different tools that are available in the ribbon, and the ribbon controls kind of a in the areas in which you would work in, but kind of a, like most applications these days. Um, but what it allows you to do is then to take it to the next level. So you can almost use it as a workflow through um, CAD creation and then analysis, as well as structural analysis and collaboration of, of the parts um, or any kind of a design. Uh, I think you've went on mute there, Cheryl, by an accident. Oh, I don't even know how long I was muted for. No, it was just for a split second. Don't worry about oh, was it? Sorry, <laughs> yeah, sorry yeah. guys. No, sorry okay. about that. <laughs> it must have just been the way that I clicked the screen. Sorry about that. Um, yes, but these yeah. are the products that Danny went over um, just earlier on when we looked at the conceptual engineering suite and we um, searched on the website for just the Inspire products. So these are kind of a, uh, they're a vast array of different products which are used for different principles within the design and engineering and manufacturing process. So if you were CAD designing, you would use the heart of Inspire um, as a design engineer um, where you could analyse topology, for instance. But if you were based in the um, design environment where you were focusing on cast, then you would use Inspire cast. And that would be the same if you were doing moulding. There are also elements um, of the additive manufacturing process for 3D print. And there are some niche areas around, say, the forum, which is sheet metal forming, and the render and studio environments uh, kind of a fall into place for anyone who's looking for a more animated rendered environment. So when you purchase, say, the conceptual engineering suite, uh, you will have gain access to all of these products and be able to implement them at stages of the design process, depending on you know, what you're what you're physically doing in your job role, or if someone else in the team needs those tools at any given time. So um, just to go over some of the main features then, the main features of the product um, itself are the, well, it's not a product, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a bunch of products. So with that bunch of products that you get um, along the suite, you get all of these main features within. Um, and geometry creation and simplification it tends to be the one that we go to most often. The dynamic motion is um, controlled by allowing you to take your assembly and add real world motion to that assembly, allowing you to do things like um, create cylindrical movement and linear movement, um, linear movement and rotational movement, and analyze the assembly um, in a real world scenario. Uh, topology optimization tends to be if you're looking to um, either lightweight the, the, the component or part that you're working on, or it tends to be for um, shape optimization. So design for additive manufacturing also is part of the Inspire products. And you can look at things like 3D print and how it prints and how stable it is during that printing process. 
Structural analysis, again, it can be used as a, a main feature or it can be used as a feature workflow. So you can use the Optostruct part of the Inspire product or you can use SimSolid because it integrates into the Inspire product line. The assembly configuration is, again, part of the product where we can look at assemblies with the dynamic motion and look at how it would work in its real world um, scenario. The featured workflows are really important in the Inspire uh, products because, like we said, this is a suite of tools. And within those tools, you want to be able to analyze the tools whenever you need them, you know, pull them in to analyze your product, sorry, whenever you need to. So being able to have that sim solid integration and motion analysis, as well as the ability to suppress and unsuppress entities, um, is, is a huge um, thing within within a set of tools. So being able to go out and get the tool that you need, use it for the certain amount of time that you need it for and release it back into the pool. Um, as Danny was saying about the licensing, you're only using the tool for the amount of time that you need it and you're allowing it to go back into the team for someone else to pick it up and use it when they need it. So the other things like Polynub's fit actually falls into a lot of the topology um, optimization where it allows you to look at the structure of your part um, Maybe it looks a bit alien, but then you can take it through into a simulation and figure out where the um, strengths and weaknesses are of that part. Um, overhang shape control, again, would be a feature that would that is very difficult to sometimes analyse, but the works the workflow works really well within within the tools Inspire um, Inspire gives you the access to. So. Um, unit cell lattice generation as well. Again, topology optimization and lattice generation sometimes come into play whenever we're looking to lightweight our parts. And it's a very um, low in sequence through the in Inspire product, um, as well as being able to use structural analysis um, and possibly some solid. So being able to use all of those together uh, within one suite is, is kind of a, what Altair are, are, are giving you within the suite itself. Um, Cheryl, I think you've went on mute again. It was just for a split second again. <laughs> yeah, I need to move this off the screen. It's just my, I think it's my mouse. It just keeps double clicking. Sorry about this, guys. I'll try my hardest not to touch it again. I'm going to move Danny's face up to the top right corner so that we can still see him. Um, By all but means. Hopefully it won't get in the <laughs> uh, We're just going to watch this quick video, guys, as an overview.
so that was just like just a quick video guys just to give you an idea um of what the overview of the products are it's quite difficult to obviously think about all the products together and how they work um but obviously myself and danny can spend time with you if you're interested in certain elements of the inspired products the website for Altair is is quite um good in terms of it will give you information about the applications we also have a lot of information about the applications on our website as well but we'll send you through the presentation so that you can click on the links and it'll take you directly to that um, so if we just come back to presentation so considerations um in terms of why do you know why would you why would you want to use inspire um so do you currently have access to the conceptual engineering suite um, or the concept engineering suite? Sorry. If that's the case, then you might already be you know, looking to analyze processes that you can't get access to the CAD automatically. Your CAD or your design and engineering department might already have locked the design and therefore maybe you're only doing the analysis, but you want to make a quick change. And those quick changes might never make it back to design and engineering, but it might make it that your process is a lot quicker so that you can eventually go through a change process where that would come into play. So being able to, um, as a simulation designer or you know, as a designer yourself, now that you've got access, access to things like SimSolid, is there other changes that you could be making that could make the process a lot quicker? Um, are there elements of the process that you can do um, whilst you've got the model open? Uh, so you don't need to go back to design and engineering. You don't need to spend that time finding the right person to make the change to the model. Um, can you go in and make that change yourself? Um, how much time do you think that would save you? Uh, we always see all these hours of time that, do, that, that get lost. Um, so that's one of the considerations. The other thing is, again, your current, current modelling workflow, like I mentioned, is it perfect? I mean, nothing's ever perfect, but uh, is that elements of that workflow that you could address now that you know that the Inspire products um, allow you to go in and create modifications to the design uh, with ease. So we're doing direct modelling um, in there as well as optimisation for manufacturability. I mean, you might never have thought about 3D printing before, but now you've got access to a 3D print functionality. Is there is there a possibility you could have a 3D printer? Um, also simulation um, of the, the 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 motion of your assembly is it possible that you can do that within um, inspire instead of having to go back again to the design team and rely on those guys to keep making changes it's just again giving you more tools within the kit that you've got available even if you don't have a uh, sim solid or you're not using sim solid there is still a, a good need for all of these um, kind of a simulation driven tools um, as a different approach to this CAD environment that you, you would work in in design and engineering. Um, and also consider, do you have issues with overrun? Um, and again, we're down to time. We're talking about being able to use those tools for a short time and make the changes instead of waiting on someone else to, to do that for you. And then the rapid design exploration, would you like to be able to do that? I mean, it's, it's starting to become more frequent. We don't we don't have locks to the design data, but we allow it to be open and free. And especially if we're doing analysis, we we want to make immediate changes and run the analysis um, quickly rather than wait on design and engineer and make changes for us. So with this alternative um, approach using the Inspire products, we can do that. We can make those changes a lot quicker rather than to uh, wait on different departments to do that for us. So um, the workflows that I mentioned earlier on about um, the featured workflows are really important. So the Altair SimSolid product, the Sol uh, Motion Solve product and the Optistruct product are piggybacked into the Inspire software. So when you open up the software um, and you start to use structural analysis, you do have the option to either use SimSolid or use Optistruct. And that's dependent on the amount of complex uh, parts that you have within the assembly. Um, so there's there's reasons why you would use one or the other. And also the Optostruct software uh, within the Inspire products allows you to do things like lightweighting of the structures. And the Motion Solve is the part of the product that allows you to work with multi-bodies and add motion simulation as well. So these are important workflows that you get with the Altair products. 
when you're using um, the concept engineer suite, for instance, and you've got all of the tools together. So just a bit about the free trials, like I said, our website does have a lot of information on the Inspire tools and um, the Altair One Marketplace. I think they've changed it slightly. I think it's called Altair One Marketplace now. Um, it's got a lot of videos, uh, customer stories, video clips on each element of the Inspire products, not just the CAD integration, but also the cast and the mould integrations. So if you're interested in only one element of that, you might want to give us a shout and we can kind of appoint you in the right direction. Um, and if I'm not, just correct me if I'm wrong here, Danny, there is a free trial for most of the products, is that right? You're on mute, Danny, sorry. Yeah, it makes a difference that. from you, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. I was giving um, you a shot, I was throwing the bat in this time. Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah, so to confirm, um, most of the uh, software within Alter do have trials. Um, which are usually about two weeks. So, yeah, so that gives you enough time to just digest what the product does. But even um, myself, Danny, and Wazim uh, work really hard with customers where we take a lot of their data. You know, we we take it into the software and figure out if it's if it's a so um, a suited solution for you. So there's a lot of things that we can do. Uh, if you just get in contact with us, we can we can point you in the right direction. Brilliant. Um, well, obviously, there's our contact details for anyone that does have questions following this webinar. Um, and obviously, you can contact me or Cheryl via email or LinkedIn. Um, and hopefully, you learn quite a lot, obviously, coming off this Alta uh, webinar. So, yeah, thanks for attending and uh, hopefully speak with you guys soon. Thank you.